And people say, yes, what's the difference? You know, well, the Bible's just another book. No, first off, that's wrong. The Bible's not a book. The Bible's 66 books. 40 different people wrote it. Over 1,500 years. There's never been a book like that in history. Ever. Does that make it the Word of God? No. It just means it's worth considering. Because there's never been a book like this. Gives you some reason to consider it over the others. Oh, well, how about history? For hundreds of years, archaeology has used the Old Testament and new to find buildings, to find people, to find civilizations, to find kings that didn't exist or they didn't think they did. And suddenly the Bible said they're there and they dug it up and there it was. Does that make it the word of God? No. It means it's historically accurate. Real people really existed and really wrote down what they saw. It's worth considering. And then they said, we're going to have God show up. And lots of people said that. Lots of religions say it. Don't worry, we'll prove it as a rational God would do. I will do prophecies. I will show that I'm not trapped in linear time, that I can see beyond where you are. I will give prophecies to tell you what the guy, when I show up, when God appears on earth to reveal himself, I'll show you what he's going to look like. Over 300 prophecies. And then a man showed up one day named Jesus. And he said, I'm that guy. And he fulfilled all 300 prophecies. That's impossible. People could say, well, yes, uh, they just wrote it afterwards and filled it all in. But we know that the first Greek translation of the Old Testament was done 250 years before Jesus was born. So how could they possibly know that he'd be born in Bethlehem? How could they possibly know he was going to be crucified when crucifixions didn't even exist as a capital punishment yet? How could they know that he'd be betrayed for 30 pieces of silver 250 years before there was a Jesus? Does it make it the word of God? No, but it's starting to get close. 